got to keep a good attitude. Attitude will like define your reality whenever it comes to this stuff. So you want to make sure you keep that in mind. What is up, people? This is uh, the first solo vlog. Henry's at work, so we will uh, see him back on our Monday push day vlog. Um, let's try and start doing these on leg days. Today's leg day, so uh, we're going to embrace the Tom Platt's mentality and go to a failure, right? So um, we're going to have some fun with it. I'm just now getting off work, and we're going to head to the gym. I'm about 15 minutes out. Just gonna have some fun and I'm just kidding it's like that we're not gonna have fun but we're gonna kick its butt so what we're gonna do all right we're gonna try some new workouts today I think for leg day we're gonna kind of uh usually usually we stick to the same roundabout plan basically but I think we're gonna mix it up a little bit today actually and we're gonna do we're gonna try some quad focused Bulgarian split squats. I don't know how those will turn out. I've never done those myself before, and uh, I heard they're pretty killer. So hopefully they are worth the hype. We're gonna, like I said, do more of a quad focus type day today. So we're gonna be doing Bulgarian split squats. We might do some like single leg leg press, possibly. Do some single leg leg press, um, and then uh, definitely gonna go into some quad extensions or leg extensions, whatever you want to call them, and uh, rep them puppies out until failure, of course. And then we're also gonna be checking out, and I think usually instead of doing leg curls, I think we're gonna do some like RDLs on like a Smith machine, basically. We'll take a look whenever we get there, but we're gonna try and mix it up a little bit, keep your muscles moving around, you know. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna have some fun with it, even though it's like day. You gotta keep a good attitude. Attitude will like define your reality whenever it comes to this stuff. So just wanna make sure you keep that in mind. is our upper day which will be really fun so stay tuned for that that video will be dropping tomorrow night late tomorrow night and uh which would be friday night evening sometime yeah but we're getting pretty close to being there so we're gonna start sipping on the pre we are running the same thing as last video raw essentials pre code cool 45 gets you 10 percent off at checkout we'll help your boy out Sip. Instantaneously, like you kind of feel like the pre already. <laughs> um, the tingles aren't like killer compared to some of the other high stem pre workouts. This is like an essential pre. You get 200 milligrams of caffeine, and then, like for pumps, I mean, it's literally Himalayan pink sea salt, which this is the best pre workout I've had. And it, that's an unbiased opinion. I, this is one of my favorites, probably the favorite. My all-time favorite flavor is the peach mango. I do have a thing of the blue raspberry coming in, so I'll be reviewing that whenever it comes in. Speed bump. I'm gonna try and do some more reviews as well. Um, I do have a recipe coming in bound stay tuned for that we have a protein breakfast um, which is basically essentially we're just gonna do a it's gonna be a pretty high volume but it's gonna be protein pancakes with bacon or you can do like sausage or whatever like meat you want work that into your macros the main recipe will be the pancakes um, and uh, just have fun with that 
just have fun with that. So we're going to do that. I may do like a protein powder uh, review as well. If you've uh, made it this far, comment down below which um, comment what's your favorite protein powder. Let me know. I'll give it a shot. Maybe I can hit up some reviews and stuff. Also, if you guys got any ideas for videos, I'd love to hear them. I'm not going to be doing very much in gym content for my full vlogs, um, but I will be doing these type of things. This is going to be more like a podcast vibe type of thing and more of a talk show type vibe, you know, you know, you know, getting that, you see, uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of like the way this is set up and, uh, I'm going to be get, getting some gear set up as well. I've got a, the adjustable phone mounts now, so that's pretty nice. I'm going to work on getting some mics to clip on the seat belts, you know, and keep it rolling. Like almost halfway down and the pre is like kicking in a little bit. Shout out to Shane Woodard last night. Gave me a call, my buddy Shane. And uh, watched vlog two last night, which was really cool to hear somebody reach out about the vlog. Thank you, Shane. Whenever you're lifting, you want to keep the intensity up. You don't want to leave the gym and think like you could do more. You want to make sure you've like exhausted everything in you. That is, I mean, if you're doing like low volume training, high like low volume, high intensity, which is what ours our style of training is, is what I find that works for me, gives me the best results is that we do most of our exercises on a two set type of deal uh, for chest day or for like your uh, chest we're averaging about six sets per week now some people I mean they're hitting four sets of 12 and doing four or five different exercises each each day. I mean, like, you're just doing a bro split where you're, like, chest, shoulders, knees and toes, or whatever. I mean, uh -huh. chest, shoulders, arms, legs. You're hitting four sets and then at least three to four different exercises. Dude, that's, like, that's 16 to 20 sets a week. I mean, if that's what works for you, that's what, that's what works for you. But me... I mean, it's not just to save you some time, but like if you can keep the intensity up, man, you just go to a failure, it means you ain't got to count. I mean, it's good to count because you can track. If like you hit 12 one week, you can move up and wait. You want to make sure you're always progressively overloading. And keep that up. Or we are literally almost there, people. So just keep hanging tight, and uh, we're going to get this pump. Maybe not even. Yeah, we'll probably get a pump, but it will be severely painful. It'll be worth it. Workout down the hatch. <laughs> Do not copyright that, please, Joe. That was purely out of love. Just kidding. But yeah, thank you, Joe, for coming up with down the hatch. Anyways, pre workout pre workout is initiated, annihilated. Why did I say initiated? I meant annihilated. Okay. I will see you guys on the other side.
it has been achieved. Mission accomplished. Leg day was a success. Need I say less? Okay, I'll shut up now. Um, quad focus leg day was tough. We got through it. It was totally worth it. Were the Bulgarian split squats completed? No. What we did do was goblet squats with heavy dumbbells or kettlebells I shall say and I really liked those probably gonna implement those for at least for a few weeks and uh, get the feeling out of them puppies and kind of go from there let's see here what are we doing there we go we're a little more stable now I think okay um, what is you doing bro We did goblet squats, and then we went in and did some Smith Machine RDLs. Pause. You know that was a good leg day whenever it hurts to slow down on the way home. That's how you know you did it right. Okay. Um, we're going to go home and have some protein. We got some, got some venison or deer sitting in the refrigerator at home, ready to eat. So we're gonna munch on some of that tonight with 150 grams of cooked white rice and six ounces of cottage cheese with either a Coke Zero or a root beer Zero. Either way. That's what we're going to do tonight, and then I'm going to put this video together and get that puppy on the cloud or on the YouTube. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Hey, buddy. Lightweight. Proper stimulus has been achieved. Okay, we're back. Sorry, technical difficulties. And hopefully, we don't get the storms in like they said we were supposed to. So, we'll find out. As I said before, is upper day, which is going to be a combination of push and pull. One of my favorite days. Don't forget to do legs though. Like, just don't be the guy that skips leg day. Ooh. Ouch! Somebody's getting pulled over. Not good. Come on, Green Knight, let's go. Sorry for the shaky camera. Whenever you hit those Smith Machine Romanian deadlifts, deadlifts come on dude let's get to going whenever you hit them smith machine romanian deadlifts you want to really make sure that you're getting a good squeeze on the bottom and if it doesn't if you can't get like a good enough eccentric like on the way down you can put a plate under your feet like a 45 pound plate or two or whatever to where you can basically pivot more I had to do that and it, it gets you really good so 
just a little a tip for that that may help as well just make sure you get that good squeeze tomorrow is back to work it's Friday well, we had we had work today anyways but tomorrow's work as well and then uh, yeah and then Saturday we work Hopefully we'll be filming with Henry Saturday, maybe. Yes, we may, we may try and do a late night vlog. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yes, we will do that. I got that gym brain. But, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.